Hey guys, my name is Alex Sacon. I'm currently in the city of Luxor, Egypt. I'll be spending 24 hours here. I'll be showing you the best sites that you need to check out, what to do, what not to do. So here is your quick travel guide through Luxor. All right, the first stop is Memnon. It's just these two or three statues over here. It's a free entrance. You just drive up here. You're in and out super quick. The Colossi of Memnon have stood since 1350 BCE, face east towards the Nile, and have been reconstructed several times throughout history. This is Habu Temple. The entrance is 80 pounds, and there's nobody here. You can just walk around, and it feels like you're here by yourself. At 66,000 square meters, Habu is the second largest ancient temple ever discovered in Egypt. As soon as you walk through the first gate, you're transported to another time. It's very well preserved and reconstructed. Temple tickets are only sold three miles away at this office, along with tickets for other temples around the area. The best thing about Habu Temple, take your tripod, you can take your professional camera. All the guards have been very nice and they end up being your friends while you're here. So definitely a big change from other tourist sites here in Egypt. Most temples in Egypt don't allow tripods or require an extra ticket for photography and equipment. But Habu doesn't and the guards are friendly, making this my number one destination in Luxor. All right, welcome to Valley of the Kings. Very busy here. It's definitely one of the most seen sites here in Luxor. The valley was used for pharaoh burials and favored nobles and families from 1539 to 1075 BCE. It contains at least 63 tombs, but only 18 are open to the public and rarely open at the same time. This is to help preserve the contents inside from sun and artificial light damage, as well as do reconstruction work as four to 5,000 tourists visit every day. The best tombs to visit here at Valley of the Kings is tomb number two and tomb number nine. Those are the most colorful, most well preserved. Is that you're not supposed to photograph or film here. However, if everybody else is doing it, it's hard for them to stop. The reality is that most guards here will let you take pictures discreetly in exchange for money when it's fairly quiet with not so many people around. This is the Karnak Temple. We're here at sundown. There are a lot of people in there. So if you come by, be sure to do it in the morning when there's no one here. Karnak Temple is said to be the second most visited site in Egypt. It's different than any other temple because it has 134 massive columns, some that are over 21 meters tall with a diameter of 3 meters. And it was constructed over a large period of time by over 30 pharaohs, making it vast, diverse, and one of a kind. All right, the final stop today is the Luxor Temple at night. It's lit up. It's one of the few temples that's actually open after sundown. Luxor Temple, constructed in 1400 BCE, is not dedicated to a pharaoh or god, but instead to the rejuvenation of kingship. The Abu Haggad Mosque, part of the Luxor Temple, is considered one of the oldest religious buildings in the world with more than 3,400 years of continuous religious worship. If there's time, jump on a traditional wooden sailboat called a Faluka and dinner on the water, best experience at sunset. So that was Luxor in 24 hours. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Great sight as soon as you see one. Wow. Flippers. Seriously, these places are so busy you can't get a clear shot sometimes. It's so frustrating. Whew.